Elon Musk made several high-profile announcements at the opening of the new Tesla plant in Texas, which cost the automaker $1.1 billion. He promised to launch a beta version of full self-driving systems in North America this year and announced plans for an automatic self-driving service. Tesla will expand FSD's capabilities to help drivers navigate the road. The system will cost an extra $12,000, for which owners of electric cars will get more features. Elon Musk did not specify which ones, but the program will avoid making cars autonomous and require driver control. The billionaire promised that completely driverless cars will appear anyway, and the first will be cabs, which will look futuristic. The scale is enormous. There will be fully autonomous driving. There will be a special robotaxi, Musk stated. The CEO of Tesla ensured that preparations for the project launch are in progress, and the robotaxi starts working in 2024. Thus, the American automobile company should decide on the conception, create a prototype, test driverless cars, launch production and solve legal issues in two years. It is unknown how many years it will take until robotic Tesla cars appear on city streets. The development and testing of driverless cars for passenger transportation are engaged in dozens of large companies and IT startups around the world. In the US, there is Lyft, Waymo, Amazon, in China, Baidu, Didi, and in Russia, Yandex. Waymo launched driverless electric cars on city roads in March 2022 and started testing the cars by transporting its employees. China's Baidu's Apollo Go robot cab service was launched in some of the world's most populous cities, Beijing, Guangzhou, and Shanghai. Some of the problems that prevent the launch of a full-fledged driverless cab service right now worry companies on the robotaxi market for more than a year. Firstly, to serve passengers, the vehicle must qualify for the maximum, fifth, level of automated control. Secondly, driving on the test track and driving range is different from driving in the real environment, where the artificial intelligence of the car must calculate a huge number of probabilities and adapt to live traffic participants. Finally, the driverless cars currently tested by the robotaxi market are driven by electricity. If thousands of cabs are needed on the scale of a large city, where can we get so many charging stations? Another problem is related to the current situation in the world when due to the coronavirus pandemic and the economic crisis, logistics chains are disrupted and electronics production comes to a standstill. The launch of a large number of robotic cabs requires the consolidation of chip and other electronics manufacturers, which will be stuffed with drones.